There are several reasons why we naturally react and want to defend ourselves to narcissistic individuals. And there are also several reasons why it's absolutely pointless and a futile endeavor trying to defend yourself to a narcissistic individual. Now we can react because it's that sort of self-respect. We instinctively want to protect our dignity and our self-worth when someone challenges us or undermines us. We want that justice, we want that fairness, we have a natural desire to correct any sort of false accusations or unjust treatment. We want that clarity. We want to ensure that our perspectives are understood and not misrepresented. Our boundaries, defending ourselves, helps us to establish our boundaries and reinforce our personal beliefs and our personal space and our personal boundaries against inappropriate behaviour. Reputation. We can feel compelled to defend ourselves, to protect our reputation and prevent misinformation from spreading about us. Emotional responses, any form of criticism, especially from a narcissistic individual, which is persistent, can provoke strong emotional reactions that drive us to respond to them, which is what narcissistic individuals are craving, which is why they are constantly criticising. Closure. Addressing and defending against accusations can provide a sense of closure and resolution. And with genuine people, you can have a two-way conversation. With a narcissistic individual, you're just going to get gaslighted into doubting yourself. It's impossible to defend yourself against narcissistic individuals in the way we would naturally do so. The way you defend yourself against a narcissist is by walking away and no longer playing, which usually goes against who we are as a person. Try and defend yourself against a narcissist and they will go all out to twist the facts. Narcissists are apt at manipulating the truth to their advantage, making it incredibly difficult to argue against their distorted version of events. A narcissistic individual will often take your words out of context to make you look like you're being unreasonable or make you look like you're at fault. Gaslighting. Defend yourself to a narcissist and they're just going to go all out to gaslight your reality, to make you doubt your perception of reality. A narcissist will go all out to insist that something that did not happen, did happen. Or something that did happen, didn't happen. They will insist on their version of events and they will be very convincing in the way that they do this in order to get you to question your own memory and your own sanity. Projection. A narcissist will project their own negative qualities and behaviours onto you and if at all they if they can they will provoke these within you so you feel like you're the problem. They will accuse you of what they themselves are guilty of and they will provoke you into acting in narcissistic ways in order to defend yourself. So then when they then turn around and accuse you, you believe that you're the issue. When people bring the worst out in you, it's time to step away from those people. So a narcissistic individual will call you selfish whenever you assert a boundary And they are the ones that often display that selfish behaviour. Victim playing. A narcissist will portray themselves as the victim turning others against you so that they can gain that sympathetic attention. They will tell everybody else how much you hurt them, how toxic you are, even when they are the ones who are being abusive. Charm and manipulation. A narcissist can be incredibly charming and pervert persuasive when they want to be so. They will convince others to side with them. They will win over mutual friends, they will win over your family with charm and charisma, making your defence less credible because people are taking the narcissist's side. A lack of accountability. Narcissists rarely to never admit any form of fault and they'll only admit it if it works in their favour. They don't take responsibility for their actions, they project and shift the blame onto somebody else. 
making any sort of constructive dialogue, constructive conversation near impossible with them. They will deflect the blame or make up excuses every time an issue is raised. Relentless persistence. When it comes to narcissistic individuals, they are more relentless in their arguments. They do not give in. They keep going. They wear you down. They exhaust you. When you're engaging in those prolonged arguments, a narcissist will refuse to back down until you concede or become too exhausted to continue. Attempting to defend yourself against a narcissist can be exhausting and is often futile due to their manipulative tactics. It's more effective to set firm boundaries such as physical, emotional and psychological distance.